Hi there, it's old Greybeard here with uh, the next in my series of stroke recovery reports. Uh, to, the f first thing to show you is I'm standing all by myself, standing without a crutch, standing without my walker, on my own two feet, on my own power. So that, of course, is progress. I can't walk quite yet without the walker, uh, but uh, being able to stand like this is a, is a tremendous uh, confidence and... Uh, uh, comfort booster so and I'm going to sit down in my office chair not my wheelchair so almost like a normal person what do you think uh, so today is August 20 Saturday August 24th it's been eight weeks eight weeks ago today that I had my stroke and it was three weeks ago today that I did my last re uh, report I didn't do uh, updates for the last three weeks because, honestly, there wasn't a lot of progress to report because my blasted knee was still giving me so much trouble. Uh, those spasms just really sprained the knee, and I could not uh, get up and stand up or walk. <laughs> because the left knee was so weak, the right leg was taking all the, the work, so every time I stood up, it was, you know... Uh, I could do this when I was younger, but I'm, I'm a little bit older now, and I can't. It's, it's hard to stand all the way up, putting all the weight on your left, on one foot, one leg. Uh, so I strained my right knee. So f for a few days, I really, I just could not, uh, could hardly get out of bed and into the chair. All right, so uh, let's move along. Uh, uh, now we've got a lot of progress to report because we uh, had my, my next uh, doctor's appointment was just this past week on uh, on Wednesday. And uh, it was amazing. I tell you what, if there is a silver lining, if there's one good thing that I could say came out of this stroke, is it was a wake-up call for me to get my, is really start paying attention to my diet and exercise. I had, it's, it's amazing that I had the stroke when I did. I had already committed to trying to lose the weight that I've been carrying around for a decade and uh, get back into shape, I start eating right. So uh, from the first of the year until the time I had the stroke, I had lost 15 pounds. Big whoop, you know, six months to lose 15 pounds. Well, since I had the stroke, I've lost 25 more pounds. Uh, so I've lost 40 pounds since the start of the year. Uh, I, got, I really got serious about my diet. But when I had the stroke, uh, you know, of course, when we first went into the hospital that Saturday, eight weeks ago, they took all my vitals, drew blood, did blood tests. At the time, uh, all of my, my st stats were... A little bit high but not you know dangerous alarming high my, my blood pressure was 180 over 30 it's you know a little bit high but uh, my uh, cholesterol was 180 then the people they don't start to get nervous until, until it gets over 200 well uh, now my blood pressure is 112 over 68 and my uh, cholesterol was 146 so and like I say I've lost 40 pounds it's, I can actually tell, and I, I'm sleeping better because I don't have the fat in my neck that causes me to snore so much. So those are all good things. In terms of the stroke recovery, like I said, I, I can, as like we just demonstrated, I can stand and feel pretty confident, actually, you know, with the, 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 that I'm not going to collapse or fall over. When I try to walk, walking re requires shifting all of the weight from one foot to the other. My left leg cannot quite yet hold all my weight without being, you know, feeling like I'm going to collapse. So I still use the walker to walk around. But for all practical purposes, we have almost completely put away the wheelchair. Uh, I sometimes I'm, you know, if I'm tired, uh, if I did a little, tried too hard to do too much exercises, uh, I'll get back in the wheelchair for for part of the day. But most of the time, most of the time, I'm now walking around the house with the walker. Uh, not, not making a special occasion of it. You know, before I would be in the wheelchair, I get up on the walker and, and do, you know, 50 or 100 paces and then get back in the wheelchair. Well, now the, the, the physical therapist said, just, just do away with the wheelchair altogether and that'll build your confidence. And he was right. Still a lot of trouble with the wrist. The left wrist really hurts. Now, you physical therapists out there, don't worry. I'm not wearing this brace all the time, only when I really need it and at night. So that because the brace prevents the wrist from, you know, from forcing itself to, to bend and, you know, do the motions that your wrist should do. I can't even do that with my left wrist right now. It's just, just getting, getting it to there hurts a lot, you know, but uh, the fingers, uh, that's, 
I don't know if you know if that, how closely you've been following on the videos. I could barely get my fingers to there uh, when I first came home from the hospital. They were so stiff and swollen, and now I can almost make a fist. Uh, it's it's it, I don't know if it's the swelling or if they're just they're stiff from the, the the muscles are still not communicating with the brain properly. But every day. I do lots of these, These, you know, I just sit and watch TV and I'll, I'll close and open my hand over and over again. Uh, some interesting exercises they gave me from the physical therapy is to put a towel on a table and use my hand to, cr to crumple up the towel, to pull it in and, and uh, you know, using the fingers and then to spread it back out. So I do that exercise frequently throughout the day. So that's the update. I'm, I'm feeling a lot better. I'm sleeping a lot better. Uh, the spasms have, I still have them every now and then, but because I'm doing so much more stretching and, and, and working with the left leg, the brain's starting to communicate with those muscles that it was spasming before, and the spasms have dramatically decreased, which allows me to sleep and allows my knee to heal, which allows me to walk, and, you know, it's all coming along. Uh, the, the, we also saw the physical therapist uh, this week, a couple of days ago. He said I should be up and walking without the walker, you know, complete, maybe with a cane in six weeks. Now, that's ambitious, but it's a, certainly a much better prognosis than people who are suggesting that I might need a year or six months at the least to recover. So six weeks seems a little little fast, you know, but I'm, I'm going to try, but that's that's a little fast. I, I still feel, you know, I, I cannot put a walk on my left leg. Uh, so, uh, who, but, but who knows, of course, my birthday is a week from today, so uh, another decade, uh, hit, hitting another decade, another milestone. Uh, oh, oh, that, that reminds me, the, the birthday was my goal when I left the hospital. I told the people at the hospital, I told everybody, I said, uh, I'm, I'm trying to, to give, give myself, you know, milestones to reach. And my goal uh, for when I left the hospital was to be able to walk, to be stable enough to take a shower before my birthday. I took a shower today. First shower I've taken since the stroke. Yeah, don't worry. I, I, I can at least, even shortly after the stroke, I was able to stand up at the, at the kitchen sink, uh, you know, with, with uh, Colleen and, and the folks helping me, I would stand up and lean against the kitchen sink and then I could shampoo my hair and do a, a sponge bath but, you know, just actually getting in, stepping into the shower, I, I, I didn't feel confident enough to do that until today. So today, oh, man, you, you know, there's, there's just nothing like a shower to make you feel like you feel human again. You know what I mean? So, uh, so that's the big news. I took a shower. I can stand on my own two feet. I can, you know, I don't have to be in the wheelchair all the time. I can stay, get up and down. And, and, we're, and I am walking around the house with the walker. We'll, we'll see how soon I can give up the walker. And actually, be independent and uh, on the way. The, the, the hands, the the, the uh, occupational therapist said that frequently hands are the last thing to wait to wake up, if you will, or to, to start communicating with the brain because they're so sophisticated. Your brain devotes a lot of uh, neurons to your hands. Just think about how much you do with your hands, how dexterous they are. You can pick up a dime off the off a tabletop, you know. So. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm running long, I'm afraid. I, 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 I didn't really have a, a well-planned video this time. Usually I, I think it out all, uh, all ahead of time. But So that's good enough. I think uh, you know everything I'm doing. I'm, I'm fresh and clean, squeaky clean out of the shower, and I'm able to stand up and walk. Uh, that we'll, we'll look forward to seeing uh, what the pro progress I've made after, my birth, after the birthday comes up next Saturday. So on Saturday... Uh, uh, August 24th is from the uh, recovery ward in El Paso, which is now returning to being my office in El Paso. See you next time. Thanks for watching.